Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Spring, Texas. Spring is located just north of Houston and we are in the Forest Lakes subdivision. We're at 22710 J Drive. That's 22710 J Drive. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 1,678 square feet. It was built in 1973 and this home sits on a large lot. The lot is just shy of an acre. It's about a 29,000 square foot lot. And this home is priced about $30,000 underneath the county appraisal. So there's another Example of a home with some equity under it. Exterior of this home is mostly brick. There is some wood siding around the top and around some of the wood trim and the roof trim as well. Exterior wise, looks like it's in decent condition. It has sort of a circular drive here. It hasn't been paved, it's mostly just stone, but if you were to come in and pave it, it could be really nice. You have some nice sago palms, lots of trees. I really like this front porch here. Real majestic with these wood rafters, almost looks like a uh, yeah. something in the mountains. Really pretty wood door. And the exterior wise in pretty decent condition. The brick is obviously in good shape. Maybe just a little bit of wood rot repair around some of the fascia and soffit. Maybe give it a fresh coat of paint, a little power washing. Let's take a look at the backyard and we'll look at the inside. So we get out to the backyard from a door off of the laundry room inside and when we step out to the back you have this really large covered patio. This is really nice. Um, they have poured a slab here so you have a lot of uh, covered space if you want to do some entertaining. As I said it's just shy of an acre. Really deep lot. You have a little storage shed there. Lots of trees for shade. This home appears to be serviced by a well which is right in that little uh, little stand there. But exterior wise it's all brick with the exception of the trim around the fascia on the soffit which needs to be repaired and with the exception of this little covered structure here. But exterior wise really in decent condition. You know, a few pieces of minor rot around some of the trim and some of the edges of the of the roof, but all, all very minor and probably very easily repaired. Before we walk into the front, I want to show you the front porch. I think it's really nice. You have a lot of space between your neighbors and you see they've poured a similar type of slab up front, kind of like a faux stone. So you have a lot of, of, of space up front where you could put a little patio table, a little, some chairs if you want to just kind of survey the neighborhood, just come out here and relax and have a cup of coffee or iced tea. Let's take a look at the inside. Well as we step in we will notice there is ceramic tile in the on the flooring. To the right here we have essentially what could be a formal dining room. There's a door here that takes you into this little storage closet. So this could be either a formal dining room, a formal living room, a study. There is a little bit of mildew on the ceiling. So you want to make sure that the roof is sound and it's not leaking, get the home inspected. We come around the corner here and we have your big living room. So it's a big open living area here. Has ceramic tile as well in here. And then we come over into your combined dining and kitchen area. So right up front we have really what could probably be your formal dining room. You'll notice the flooring has buckled a little bit. It's kind of a, a faux wood floor. So that's uh, damaged a little bit. You have what could be a, a breakfast area here, but if you use this as a breakfast area, you're going to have a table right next to your dining room table. So I'll probably just leave this as an open kind of a walking space. There is a little bit of evidence of some kind of a roof leak there. And then we have your kitchen. So it's a really nice kitchen. It has a granite countertop, a big, big area here for um, bar, bar, bar stools if you like, a nice recess area here for your refrigerator, granite countertops over here, a nice recessed sink. And then you have your utility room and that's how we get out to the backyard there. Your utility room has your washer and dryer connections in here, a little bit of storage, your water heater. So you're going to want to replace the flooring in the kitchen and the dining room. I think the flooring in the living room could probably be salvaged. There's another evidence of a little bit of a roof leak there. And then we have the bathrooms down at this end um, and the bedroom. So right to the left here we have bathroom number one which is a shower and tub combo. It's a little bit dark in here. Apologize for that guys. But a, a single vanity here, looks like the original uh, tile, and then your commode here. Directly across from that we have bedroom number one. Now they do have those wood floors in bedroom number one. They're actually in good condition. You could probably salvage that. This room really probably just needs a fresh coat of paint. Right next to that we have bedroom number two. Same thing with bedroom number two. Those wood floors look great in here. I think you could salvage those. 
Just give this room a fresh coat of paint and you're pretty much done. And then right across from that, we have bedroom number three, or your master bedroom and your master bath. The floors look great in this one as well. I think you could salvage the flooring, just put a little bit of paint in this room. And then we have your master bath. Now the master bath is a single vanity and a commode. Pretty basic master bath, but functional nonetheless. Shower and tub combo. It has a nice deluge shower head there. And this room really just needs maybe clean up that vanity. It's a little dirty, but that's about it. Master walk-in closet. Nice home. As I said, it's about $30,000 underneath the county appraisal and it really just needs a little minor touching up. Let me give you a summary. There it is, 22710 J Drive, 22710 J Drive in Spring, Texas. This home sits on just shy of an acre. It's going to need some flooring and painting, but if you're looking for a home with a lot of room, this could be the property for you. It's about $30,000 underneath the county appraisal listed right now for only $138,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.